You ask, what if Biden got elected? America is going to hell. <laughs> what if Trump gets elected? It's, it's doomed either way. You know, the Bible, the Bible says, the, you might ask, how can I be thankful if, you know, these people get elected? I'll be happy. Because, you might ask me why, because, because the darker the world is, the lighter, the brighter the light is going to shine. That's something you can be thankful for. I don't care who gets elected. I don't care who gets elected. No. Okay. I don't want to go off the rabbit trail. I'll, I'll control myself, all right? In Daniel chapter 11, the Bible is, is prophesying the end time. The Bible says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. So I don't care how bad the word is. The word is getting worse. The Bible already prophesied that. Pastor is preaching a series on the book of Daniel. You know, the end of the world has already been prophesied. Jesus Christ will be anointed as the Most High. At the end time, we shall do exploit. So I don't care who gets elected. We're going to do exploits as God's people. Amen. See, we as God's people should not... Uh, I mean, all, all these old-time preachers say this. We should not put our trust in the White House, but in the Church House. Amen. So we, as God's people, should be strong, no matter what the situation is, and do exploits, and be thankful for the persecution, because some of you need it. Maybe God will let Biden to get elected, just, just to let some of the Republican Christians to get on fire for God. See, if you're not happy with it, I don't know what to do with you, but... <laughs> Everyone is laughing, okay? I, I, I'm sure this sermon might be censored on Facebook and YouTube. So here you go, Mark Zuckerberg, okay? If you want to put it, take it down, you can take it down, I don't really care. The word of game is going to get out anyway. I'm preaching to the, to the camera. Anyway... Be thankful for the persecution. Some of you need it. You know, American Christian is the most lukewarm Christian in the world. There I said it. I'm Chinese. I can say that, okay? It's not racial. <laughs> See, at the beginning of the early church, in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, what did Jesus Christ tell the apostles? Go into all the world, right? Go to Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. What did they do? God tell them to spread out, go out from Jerusalem, and they stay in Jerusalem. So in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, they choose to stay, and God tell them to get out. But in Acts chapter 8, verse 1, the Bible says there was a great persecution, and they were all scattered. See, some of you are so, are so complacent in where you are at today. Maybe God will allow this coronavirus to happen to get the fire from you. Maybe God wants to kick at your rear end and actually do something. See, some of you are so worried, and how can you?